President Draupadi Murmu along with Governor R. N. Ravi visited Isha Yoga Center Coimbatore today on the occasion of Mahashivratri celebrations. In the program that followed the visit, President started the speech with Om Nam Chivaya and extolled that it is her fortune to visit Dakshina Kailashan. Sadhguru Jaggi Vasudev too expressed his gratitude to her on the occasion. Iran joined China in calling upon Afghanistan to ensure work rights for women in a joint statement issued at the close of a visit to China by the Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi. This was part of an assertive statement against Western standards of human rights and democracy and closer economic ties between the two nations. Speaking at a gathering on judicial appointments and reforms, Prashant Bhushan, an eminent lawyer spoke extensively for transparency in the selection process undertaken by the Collegium as it stands and called for reform from consideration, evaluation, shortlist and announcement to improve more universal access, representation and social justice within the judiciary. Udhav Thakre said after denied the right over his father's party and symbol, election commission seems to be in a hurry. What pressure they had I do not know. The by-elections are going on and the election code of conduct is enforced till the election commission hurriedly passes the order and declares it. It is very unfortunate that one after another institutions that were earlier called independent institutions are destroyed and made stools in the hand of the BJP. <laughs> India lost to England in the group stage of the ICC Women's T20 Cricket 2023. England batted first and scored a fighting total of 150 runs. Renuka Singh picked 5 for 15. Smriti Mandhana and Richa Ghosh scored 52, wicket and 47 not out respectively. At a stage India needed 47 runs out of 24 balls with 6 wickets in hand but wasn't able to score it and ended up for total of 140 for 5 in 20 overs. Thank you for watching Chanakya. Stay tuned for more updates.